Hello and welcome back everyone to anubautrainings.com. In this free video series, we are learning about SAP Generative AI capabilities. In the last episode, we talked about introduction to AI and Generative AI. We clearly outlined the difference between AI and Generative AI along with its capabilities and opportunities. In our today's session, we will understand if you are an SAP consultant, be it an ABAP consultant or a BTP consultant, what is the prerequisite and what would be the learning path for you to become a SAP Generative AI developer on SAP BTP. So let's get started and understand the learning map and the learning path for an engineer at SAP to understand and learn SAP Generative AI. So my dear SAP consultant, if you are working in industry as a ABAP developer or any other SAP consultant in other fields like BW, BASIS or any other technology, the very first thing which you should start is SAP BTP CAPM, which includes SAP BTP introduction. And then you need to know how, how to design, develop and build applications on SAP BTP. And the best way to do that is by subscribing our course on BTP CAPM, where we will cover core capabilities of setting up your free trial account on BTP, understanding the, the overall design of a BTP account, global account, sub account, spaces and all. Then understanding different environments like ABAP environment, Cloud Foundry environment and Kaima environment. Then we will drill down into the basics of Node.js and make you comfortable with SAP's state-of-the-art cloud application programming model framework to design and develop full stack applications. Afterwards, we include topics like continuous integration, continuous delivery, cloud transport management system, working with the life cycle of the application and understanding the core security of BTP applications. We will understand the whole process of design, development, testing, deployment, packaging, and delivering these applications in the cloud using CAPM. So once you are very comfortable with CAPM, then your journey for SAP PTP Generative AI starts. So the first thing is the foundation. The foundation includes the programming language. So Python is the most preferred programming language, which we also cover in our SAP Generative AI training. So you can check a contact at anubotrainings.com or anubotrainings.com website to find our course, detailed course on Generative AI to get started with your journey. And we will cover the Python basics for you because we understand your world. You come from an ABAP background or a BTP CAPM background. You do not have an idea on Python. You have never worked on Python. Don't worry, we will make you hero from zero. So after learning Python, you need to know basics of machine learning and how to implement machine learning use cases because sometimes you really don't need to use AI. You can address and fulfill all your use cases simply with simple machine learning. Then you need to understand natural language processing. Yes, and also the concept related to deep learning. Now this will bring me to the concepts related to neural networks. And then we start with the concept of AI, agentic AI in terms of difference and what is LLM, large language models. After you understand large language model, you will also together understand so-called the transformer architecture, which includes encoders and decoders. You will also understand the concept of tokenization, embeddings and many more things. So once your concepts are very clear, then you will be ready to drill down into the AI field with generative AI and you can really build amazing use cases. So all of these topics we will cover in detail with mathematical formulas, algorithms, their internal mechanisms, how these things are designed, how these things works behind the scenes and how can you as a developer tune multiple things, use variety of libraries, packages and content to design and develop your use cases. All of it is powerful, uh, powered by real time use cases as well to explain you these topics. Then you will understand broadly the large language model, their types, which model to use when, understanding what is the power of LLM, different LLM models related to OpenAI, Azure, 
Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. And then how to use these LLM with frameworks like LangChain, LangServe, LangSmith, and LangGraph. Yes. So basically, LangChain is the preferred framework. And then we'll start with SAP Generative AI Hub on SAP BTP. Yes. So this is the journey. Together with this journey, I will also answer some of the key questions in terms of Anubhav, when to use AI and when to not use AI. Why is that we can use open AI models directly? Why is SAP AI or generative AI needs to be used? And what are the different use cases you can implement? How to create your account? How to set up your system? How to set up your, uh, you know, entire provisioning of an account and security to be able to get started with SAP generative AI? Yes. And how can I also minimize my cost during my learning? How can I get BTP account to set up and design and develop AI based solutions? And after the generative AI hub, we'll start with concepts related to reg. Yes. Retrieval augment generation. How to practically use your company data with reg to design AI based use cases and generative AI based use cases. We will also understand SAP's HANA capability related to HANA Cloud, which includes the plain database, HANA Vector Engine, and HANA Knowledge Graph Engine as well. Yes, so all these capabilities you will understand, vectorizing the content. Along with that, I will teach you the open source AI models, including Microsoft Azure based models and Amazon Anthropic model. Yes, all this will also cover how to generate API keys, use them securely, design and develop your application. We'll talk about CAP LLM plugins, integrating your existing BTP application with powerful AI based use cases and also using uh, different AI based tools to generate and develop AI based use cases. All of it powered with 20 plus real time industry use cases. Then we will also move on to some of the advanced things like how to create embeddings and how to use SAP's orchestration service in BTP uh, for designing and developing applications and then real-time use cases. Along with that, we will learn about Microsoft Teams integration and of course, the agentic AI with SAP Joule and Joule Studio. Yes, so both of it is part of your training. You can also use AI to generate AI based application. So that also we will be learning. So this is the learning path. Of course, when it comes to prerequisite, this is the only prerequisite you need to understand and rest all is up to us to make you hero from zero on AI. And after that, you will be confident enough to implement a variety of use cases. Let me give you an example. For example, you want to do uh, voice processing, voice command processing, or you want to give some private PDF document of your company to get meaningful answers from those documentation, or you want to generate creative content based on these AI based models or integrate AI based applications and different LLM models within your existing CAP application. There are a lot of use cases we will be discussing and developing during our journey. Great. So I hope you understood and got a brief idea about what is that you need to know, what will be the learning path for you to get hands on experience on SAP BTP Generative AI. With that, thank you so much for watching this video with me today. If you feel this content is helping you, kindly subscribe and share this channel in the WhatsApp group of your company teams. And I hope to see you in my next episode. Happy learning. Till then, goodbye and see you again.